Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be continuing the series on Holy Grail Empties. Now in the last video, I did body, and then I realized if I wanted to do skincare premium and skincare budget, it was gonna take the entire video. So I split it up into three. This one is focused on premium and niche skincare products. It is not the entirety of all of the products that I like and use, it's just the ones that I happen to have empties for. I'm going to divide it into two. I think the first bit I'm gonna focus on those holy grail or items that are close to holy grail and then i noticed that i had quite a few empties so i'm just going through some products that i have empties of and i'll give you my take on those as you know the default on this channel is always brands and art by black women and women of color and there is so much content on that however naturally given what i do at janet's list i'm always interested in the broader ecosystem i am also a skincare freak so while i was going through these empties i thought you know what let me just turn this into a video just in case it's going to be helpful to someone in the first holy grail body video i went from my number 10 to number one so i did a countdown for this video i'm actually gonna follow the skincare routine so i'll start from cleansing and work my way through it so let's get straight into it so the first product on my list is the then i met you leaving cleansing balm i absolutely love this product and as you can see i have used it right to the very end it is like a yellow sobe consistency and it's one of those products that you can use as a first cleanse and as a second cleanse i double cleanse my skin i use a washcloth when i'm doing that the first cleanse is to take off the makeup the second cleanse is to actually clean your skin not many products do both of those steps properly and this is one that does and so it's an excellent product as well if you're thinking of carrying something while you're traveling so here here on the tab it says it has persimmon, seabury oil, grapeseed oil and vitamin E. This product smells lovely. It's not overwhelming. The scent is not overpowering but it definitely has a little bit of scent. I generally don't like scent in skincare products but I love to have a little bit of a scent in a cleanser because A you're gonna be washing it off your face but also it's either that first step in the morning or the last step at night before you go to bed and it's just nice to have a bit of a sensory experience. I think this product is in the mid 30s in terms of pounds so it's not like like a high street drugstore product it's from an independent brand but it is a fantastic product i love it it works across all skin types i noticed as well that my partner had been using it and really enjoying it as well so it's just one of those really good rock solid cleansers so that's the first product then i met you living cleansing balm that's going into the bin the second empties on my list is the deviant uh, cleansing concentrate i'm just gonna hold that up so that you can see like that i've literally used everything there this one with the silver top i think Think was a special edition blue tansy um, cleanser and i actually preferred it to the original i'm just going to show you what the original looks like so you can see there's a tiny bit left there and i'm not going to smear it on the side of my hand because i don't actually want to waste this product this thing is not cheap it is more of like a premium buy rather than a drugstore buy so again perfectly entitled to figure out whether it's worth your money or not but it is a product that i buy repeatedly now i've tried a few other products from deviant not to say that they're not great or anything but if i was gonna spend my money on that brand it would be with the cleansers so the cleanser itself is just a really lovely like balm to milk consistency it goes on the skin really well i would say that this is more of a second cleanse rather than a first cleanse like it's too precious to be using it to take off your makeup this is more to just cleanse your skin itself it does not leave the skin feeling tight if your skin is feeling a little bit like mm, like you know it's not happy it's just a little bit prickly like this is the type of cleanser that i would use or if if you're retinoling or if you're having treatments done like this is the cleanser that i would use because it's just so soothing and relaxing like premium products the packaging is really good like this is a solid glass jar it comes beautifully packaged as well when it arrives in the post so it could potentially be like a really good gift as well i love this product i'll always have it in my rotation so that is the deviant cleansing concentrate and i have two empties there so the next product on my list is going to be in this video but it's also going to be in the high street video because this product i think straddles both and it is the clinique 
moisture surge face spray as you can see these are completely empty i could probably find another two bottles of this in our flat absolutely love this product there was a time when you couldn't get it in stock and literally i was going around the boots in london asking them to open the bottom drawer and look and give me this product because it's amazing i find particularly in the winter where your skin can be really dried out by central heating or if you're in a hot place or just for daily day-to-day -day use this product just helps to keep my skin hydrated and so where i use it in my routine is i'll cleanse my face if i'm using an exfoliating toner i'll use that if not i'll go in with this and just do a few spritzes on my face and then i'll go in with either my serum or my moisturizer depending on what my routine is for that day my partner has a much simpler routine he'll cleanse he'll mist he'll moisturize but this is a product that if we don't have two bottles of this in our flat we are panicking i knew that this product was good because when we started using it a few years ago my partner was going off somewhere and he literally packed it nicely in his little suitcase like yeah i'm going with the skincare so that's how i knew that we were on to something i have tried lots of mists and i always keep coming back to this one this is the one step in my routine where i don't really experiment you know when i was talking about cleansers i try lots of different ones with mists i always use this one it doesn't smell of anything so it's good for people who have sensitive skin i think it's good for people who have rosacea or people who are prone to redness in their skin what i would say about this product it's one of those where you take it for granted when you use it but when you stop using it you can tell the difference in your skin in how tight it feels the reason i have it in this video for premium and niche is even though it's a high street product because that's how we would see clinique i think it's about 25 27 pounds so it's a considerable expense it's not like a casual buy but this is money well spent for me i'll always have it in my routine so that's the clinique moisture surge spray Having spoken about a couple of brands, if you are enjoying this video and you're finding it useful, please remember to pop a like and to subscribe because it makes such a difference for a small channel like ours, helps our content to travel through these YouTube streets. The next product is really falls into that category of like premium and niche. It's from a brand called Zellens. The first product is the Lumino Brightening Serum. Full disclosure, this is not a product that I would go to the shop and buy it off the counter it's just far too expensive it's not a product that i would have thought of getting myself i actually got this in a kit from caroline hirons uh, she's an incredible skincare blogger influencer although i know she wouldn't want to be called that like if there's anything that you need to know about skin caroline hirons knows it so she does these uh, kits and i don't buy all of them but there was one kit in particular which i thought was really strong and so my test for buying these kits is are there like four or five products that i really am interested in and i want to try and if the answer is yes then i am going to get that kit and so the kit i got had this product in zelens is premium independent brand the products are really good i saw an immediate change in my skin in terms of brightening when i used this product as you can see i've used it to the very end in fact now i'm just trying to figure out how to get those little dredges because it's like a proper glass container i think i'm gonna have to take it apart basically and turn it upside down but just while we're talking about zelens this is the old packaging which you might recognize so this is a product that i always have in my rotation it is the zelens power d high potency pro vitamin d treatment drops so this i'm more likely to buy i usually tend to wait for a sale or when there's um, some kind of offer going on which isn't which doesn't happen a lot so you can see i've had this one for a long time because it's still in the old packaging power d is great it's the type of oil that you use when your skin is really unhappy sometimes after you've had a cold or a flu your skin really struggles it's the type of thing that you put on your skin and you'll see a difference i would say if you already have really good skin you're not really gonna get much out of this product but if you usually have good skin but your skin is acting up this is the place for that the smell of this is not for everyone again i would go into selfridges or wherever they carry zelens and smell it before buying i wouldn't buy it online i'd buy it in person but it's a product i've used over and over the years absolutely like it so that's the Zellens Power D. I'm just smiling because I think my brother saw this and thought it was a vitamin D like supplement and took a couple of drops. So uh, just be careful with that. So the next product on my list is one that I absolutely love. And this is the Kat Baki Vitamin C Intensive Face Cream. 
I love this product as you can see in this jar it's completely empty and I've actually finished using this jar this week so it feels particularly painful because it's gonna be a while before I get another one because this product is a few pounds so how I tend to buy it is again I'll try and see if there's a sale or if it's part of a kit when I was talking about this product this came in the same Caroline Hirons kit and so when I saw that the cut Bucky vitamin C face cream was there I was like done I'm definitely getting it it smells wonderful it is just very fresh but not oh it smells so nice fresh but not soapy it has sort of like a cucumber type scent which if you like that sort of thing it's great this thing just smells rich you know you put it on your face and you just feel rich eh? i find that my makeup sits well over it if i'm not wearing makeup it still looks good on the skin i'm not prone to shine when i'm wearing it but it's also just about the sensory experience which a lot of skincare is about how it makes you feel and what it does for your skin and the how it makes me feel when i'm applying this product on my face mm, absolutely love it can't get enough of it i meant to say when i was speaking about caroline hirons and saying that she knows everything that you need to know about skincare this is her book it's basically a skincare bible the ultimate no nonsense guide to skincare if you want to educate yourself on skin and you just want to know more about that or if you have certain conditions that you want to find out more about caroline hirons basically knows everything that needs to be known about skin that is the cut Berkey vitamin c cream which i discovered through so I have tried a few sunscreens. This one is almost empty. The one that I keep coming to is Paula's Choice Youth Extending Daily Hydrating Fluid Broad Spectrum SPS 50 with Antioxidants and Soothing Plant Extract. This is the one that I always keep coming back to. Obviously, when you're applying sunscreen, you need to apply way more than what I'm doing putting on my hand. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. As you can see, it completely disappears into my skin. It just goes on so nicely without giving any extra shine. It feels like applying a lightweight moisturizer. And actually, if you're feeling lazy, you can just apply that directly in your moisturizer step. But I always put it on top of a moisturizer. It doesn't sting the eyes. Obviously, I have deep, dark skin. And, you know, finding the sunscreen that doesn't give you that white cast is important. And this doesn't. I've tried a lot of the ones that the people love, the super goop, the Korean ones. I just find myself coming back to the Poilers Choice sunscreen SPF 50 and I always have it on my rotation. Also when I've gone to places that are very hot my skin on my face has always remained intact and I'm a person who's prone to getting sunburn. Highly recommend that product. I'm a huge fan. Again premium independent brand you can get it from Space NK so if you wanted to go in and just put it on your hand and see what it looks and feels like I would recommend going in and just playing around with it and see how you like it. I know we're talking about skincare but I thought I'd do a quick shout out for this which sort of borders skincare and makeup. This is the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer. I think I got this in like a little pack thing. Like I said I'm not a makeup girly, I'm a skincare girly but every time I've used this under my makeup, my makeup looks so nice. It doesn't feel sticky but it allows the makeup not to get absorbed into the skin. It doesn't give you that blue tint that sometimes you get from primers. It is silicone free so it feels particularly lovely on the skin. I just thought I'd do a quick mention for this because I found myself using it and I pretty much used it to the very end. There's nothing there. I've used it completely to the end. Those are the holy grails. Let me do a quick fire on those. Kate Somerville, incredible brand. This is the Delicate Recovery Cream. This is the type of cream that you'd put on your skin in the winter when you just want like a little bit of extra oomph. Don't get me wrong, I love this product. As you can see, I use it to the end. Was it my favorite product? Probably not. I think I will buy Caroline Hirons new moisturizer and I'd use that over this. And if I had to pick between Kat Baki and Kate Somerville, I would always, always pick Kat Baki. So that's just a personal preference. So I'm not shitting on this product because it is a good product. I've used it to the end, but I think there are other products that are higher up on the list. Another product that I think is worth mentioning is the Lumine Arctic Hydra Care Moisture Relief Rich Day Cream. So I would say in terms of consistency and feeling, these two are quite similar. The only thing I'd say about the Lumine, it's, it's just joyless. The Cut Back, it just gives you such a good feeling. This one is just zero scent. Really good if you have sensitive skin. If you're one of those who you can't have any scent or any fragrance in the product, this is one 
one that I would recommend. Obviously on deep darker skin like mine, it looks really good. As you can see, I used it completely to the end, but I just found it joyless. But if you have sensitive skin, this could be a good option for you. Another product that oh, it just reminds me of something from childhood is the Ice Ceramide Moisturizing Cream. I like Sandy Riley. I mean, I like the blue retinol oil, which I think has a little bit of blue tansy in it. As you can see, I use that right to the end. I find this just a little bit heavy. I think it's good if you're retinoling and stuff. I used it to the end and I actually bought it having tried a little tester and saying to myself, I want the bigger tub. But over time, I just find that there are many other products which I prefer more than this. So I just thought I would mention that there. And then finally, if you're in the UK, I don't know whether Beauty Pie is in the US now, but Beauty Pie is a beauty membership club. I still have a bit of product in that, but I thought I would give it a mention. It's a Beauty Pie Triple Hyaluronic Acid Deep Moisture Miracle Cream. I use it mostly at night. Your skin just feels like it needs to be drenched. This is a product that I reach for. I will probably use it to the end, but I don't know that I would repurchase it. The gel cream variation of the Clinique Moisture Surge spray is a product that I prefer more than this I bought this because I went to the beauty pie pop-up in London which I thoroughly enjoyed and actually I really hope they do one again this year because it's a really fantastic way to discover their product all of their products are online so you kind of have to go online and figure out whether you like something or not I'll use it to the end I don't know that I would repurchase but I thought it was worth mentioning so there we have it those are I don't know how many skincare products I started off with my holy grails I've done a quick fire of other ones that I liked finally I am wearing earrings from a black owned brand called Ahima this is a brand on Janet's list I'm gonna pop the details below I got this at a recent event which was the Wow festival in London and I did a video about that so I'm gonna put that in the top left hand corner 